for almost 10 years. The local folks had quite a nice setup here around Sharpsburg. Very prosperous farm, a growing community, a nice tight-knit community. But that was all about to be turned upside down. It just so happens that where a really good defensive position is that the Confederates can set up is right exactly where this church stands. A big way that the church played a role for the Union side is as a reference point. This church is about the only structure for quite a ways around. It's a bright white building against the dark woods. Really easy to see. All through the day they would hone in on their long-range artillery lob shells exploiting things in right around towards the church, towards that area, because that's where they knew the Confederates were. And you can see the awful, devastating impacts of this battle, certainly on the armies, but also on the church. On a field shrouded with smoke, this church alone was the only visible landmark. And so it stood out as a beacon by which commanders took their direction and men found their way in the smoky chaos of battle. May it stand today in peace, as it did in war, as a beacon to guide those searching their way through the darkness. May it stand throughout all ages as a symbol of mercy, peace, and understanding.